what you look like after six hours of travel. Give me a second. So talking about Scotland, never talking about Scotland, just needed a segue and couldn't be asked. I've just travelled six hours. No, I left at seven hours. I've just been traveling. No, I haven't. That's a lie. It's been six hours. I've traveled for six hours from Edinburgh this morning all the way back to little London. Um, old kind of London, greater London, new London, kind of London. I'm gonna leave it at that. And I'm back now, I'm back home. Not for a long time, only for about a week. Thursday, I'm going up to York before coming back down. Then I'm going up again at some time. My holiday's been all over the place. It's been very confusing, but... Nonetheless amazing. Um, so yeah, I apologise, this isn't really a vloggy vlog. Vlogging and videoing while I'm on holiday is basically what I want to do. I want to explore and travel, see culture, and also show, try and rep represent it through a lens. And it's insane, it's hard to do, but I love taking my camera around places. I, lo I like talking about things, so it gives me the opportunity to basically talk about it with people. So, um, Scotland. Do you have to visit Scotland? Yes, it's a great, great city. I, no, no Scotland, not Edinburgh is a great city. I didn't even do that on purpose, it was a great joke. Um, Scotland, great place, lovely people, great food, great show, great atmosphere, vibes, absolutely. Crossed flag, you bet ya. Dogs, sure. Mountains, definitely. So we went at the fringe, and uh, yeah, a few tips for the fringe if you're going, because this was our first time, my parents' first time, uh, my first time going. My sister performed in the fringe in 2018, um, and unfortunately we didn't get to see her, what's well, a really big shame. It would have been amazing to see someone that I know perform. I do have friends performing in there. In the, in there, in, on the fringe, on the fringe? I think it's on the, in the fringe. They're performing during the fringe on Monday and unfortunately I'm missing them, what I'm really upset about because I would love to see them. If you think about going to Edinburgh anytime, I definitely suggest looking up when the fringe is gonna be that year because it is such a great vibe. And that is with like COVID and stuff, like still very present. I can't even imagine how good it would be a year where they don't have that. I mean, they had half the shows going on, yet it still felt alive. If that 100% of the show was on, I would be in a theatre all day, every day. Uh, but I saw some amazing stuff from a cappella to stand-up comedy, to improv comedy, to comedy, to shows, shows with comedy. I like comedy. I saw a bit of a taste of everything in loads of different venues. But I must say the hotel we're staying in was very suave. And if I do go to the Fringe, I don't think I can afford to stay there. But yeah, if you are going to the Fringe and I managed to convince you, Few tips for you to, to let you know. Number one, you're not gonna be able to see everything unless you stay there for months. It's very expensive in Edinburgh, not only to stay there, but also to eat out and you can eat stuff. It's a city, you know, what'd you expect? Definitely take advantage of street food. Uh, there's a lot, because of the fringe, there's a lot of independent brands. It is expensive, but you're gonna not get food poisoning. It, it's, there's some great food there. It's not just theatre that's on show, it's a bit of everything. I did help myself to a bit more alcohol than expected. But again, great independent bars. You know, it's just not it's not just the theatre they're performing, it's everything, and it's a whole city really. Depending on how long you stay there, it, yeah, it's very hard to see everything. So make sure you really find out what you want to see and what you have to see and all that stuff. And that leads me to point two. I've done that three times. Point number two, you need to know what's going on, when it's going on. It's very hard to visualise, especially on online presence. I must admit, we didn't book any shows before going. Bad idea, don't do that. Our first night was so like, I feel like we wasted a night almost. But in terms of seeing shows, I feel like we wasted a bit of time. We were kind of a bit clueless. We were like a fox in head, deer in headlights. Uh, the Fringe City, uh, theatre, that first night, terrifying. Usually the show's like 50 minutes each. Give yourself a break in between as well because it takes time to one, get to the other venues because it's across the city pretty much. So make sure you know where your venues are Plan out when you go into them and make it easy for yourself. Because, you know, if you're getting venues that run next to each other and you have, like, the half an hour in between, you're sorted. Also, you have to queue for your shows. You don't want to be that person slipping in at the last minute or slipping in when they've started. It's quite embarrassing. So the Fringe is kind of comprised of loads of different performers, the stand-up comedians, professionals in, the in you know, the industry, showbiz who are getting into stand-up and whatnot. So we saw, like, the Cineman from The Chase. I will tell you about that in another video. Theatre companies from local places, and then also the students, and a lot of it is students, or student society, student clubs that are from a university that represents the university. Fringe is very overrun by students, and my sister was a student when she done it. But yeah, if you aren't a student, or you've never seen student shows, 
One thing I'd probably suggest is go in with an open mind. It's not going to be like traditional theatre, like in West End. There's going to be some weird stuff. We saw some weird stuff. It's going to be experienced, but the thing is, you can't see that stuff anywhere else. So it's fantastic because it's that's original, that's new. You're not going to see it anywhere else apart from the fringe, and it's a great. Once you open up your mind, it's fantastic because you get this world of just fantastic performance, stage direction, sound, music, everything. It's a great experience. From my limited fringe mind, that is all I can give. Obviously, I'll be going back next year, fingers crossed. And hopefully I can give some more tips because it's definitely something I want to be involved with. I love that kind of stuff. I can see what my sister, why well, my sister had a great time now. And to me, I wish I could go back in time to see her in the fringe because I know I'd be the proudest brother um, watching it. So if you know someone in the fringe, go support them. Uh, they need your money to stay alive. Not physically stay alive, like keep their theatre alive, keep the dream alive. It's fantastic. Um, it's definitely it's an experience I'm definitely gonna remember for the rest of my life. And I think you should definitely do it as well. I think everyone should definitely go to the fringe at one point in their life. Also, Edinburgh is fantastic. I'll be talking a bit more about Edinburgh in the future. Great city. I love city trips. I definitely want to be doing more of it. So yeah, go visit Edinburgh. Try and do it at the fringe. Loser. Nice. Max. Really offending the audience in a time like this. I'm tired. You're probably tired. We're gonna call it quits. Thank you for watching this week of the Daily Vlog. Good night. Sayonara. See you later.